Hello, and thank you for your interest in Decision Group's LI Suite Simulation Lab. The LI Suite is our complete lawful interception package. It is designed to provide a powerful tool to aid the law enforcement community in its effort to fight crime within the parameters of a free society. With our warrant provisioning system, investigators can ensure the integrity of the gathered evidence and protect the rights of the suspects. Decision Group's LI Simulation Lab provides the means with which our clients can experience our full LI suite before deciding on full-scale deployment. The Simulation Lab includes our iMonitor, iMediator, and EDDM. Along with the LI Simulation Lab package, Decision Group will provide the support needed to configure and set up a simulated LI environment. Let's look at how these devices are deployed in a typical packet data network. In an LI operation, there are two major domains to consider. One is the Law Enforcement Agency domain. The other is the ISP domain, or the Telecom Service Provider domain. In the ISP domain, there are two main servers with which the LI system will interact. One is the AAA server, which handles the authentication, authorization, and accounting services for an ISP. The other is the Broadband Remote Access Server, or the BRAS, which routes IP traffic through the ISP's network to the Internet. In an LI operation, the first step is an operator enters warrant information into the iMonitor. The iMonitor is physically located in the LEA domain. The warrant information is then converted into HI1 data and sent to the iMediator. The iMediator is located physically in the ISP domain. Here, the iMediator converts the HI1 data to X1 data and then sends the data to the AAA server in the BRAS. When the target user begins using their internet service and if the user logs on within the time frame set by the warrant, the BRAS and AAA server begin mirroring the data and routing the mirrored data to the iMediator. The accounting authorization and authentication information is sent to the iMediator as X2 data and is known as the IRI or the interception related information. The X3 data is sent from the BRAS and contains the content of the traffic. SSL TLS content is routed to the HTTPS interceptor, which is also physically located in the ISP's network, and then routes the information to the iMediator. Here, the iMediator converts the X2 and X3 information to HI2 and HI3 information, respectively. The HI2 and HI3 information is then sent to the iMonitor where it is correlated and sent to the EDDM for decoding and reconstructing. After the decoding and reconstruction process, the information can then be archived or analyzed by an investigator. The iMonitor is a simple yet powerful tool that allows three separate user accounts for discrete authority over entering warrant information and analyzing data. An administrator user authority allows for system configuration and account creation. The operator user authority allows for the creation of warrant accounts and the Claimer User Authority allows for the viewing of captured data. 
These three user accounts with discrete authority settings act to provide an LI environment that adheres to strict regulations governing personal data collection by law enforcement agencies. To visualize this, let's take a look at the iMonitor interface. Using the administrator account, we can create two user accounts under separate authorities. First, let's create an operator account. The operator account can only input warrant information in the system. Next, we'll create the claimer account. The claimer can only view the data that was captured by the system. Now that the two test accounts are created, let's see what these accounts can do. In the operator account, we can see that there is no system settings link. However, the operator screen has the add warrant function. Here, we will create a test warrant. Now, we will log on to the Claimer screen. In the Claimer screen, we see that there is no System Setting link and no Create Warrant function. But, the Claimer screen has the ability to view collected data. When data has been captured, decoded, and reconstructed, the number of the types of protocols will be displayed, along with the Warrant ID. The claimer can then click on the number to open the display for the corresponding protocol. In this way, the claimer can view the reconstructed data that was collected on the target. If you'd like to learn more about our Lawful Interception Solutions Suite, email us at decision at decision .com .tw. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video demonstration.